Hello, I'm Mr. Kneisel. This is the trombone lesson. You're going to have three pieces in your case. You'll have a mouthpiece, a bell, and a slide. And these three pieces form the trombone. We're going to start with the mouthpiece. Making sound is the most important part. So if you can carefully open your case, the latches are going to open up so that things don't fall out. You're going to find the mouthpiece, which is normally in a small case inside the larger suitcase style. And then you're going to hold it lightly in your fingers. It's a little bit heavy, so you don't want to drop it. But all you need to do is make your lips kind of like you're saying, mmm. Your corners pull tight, a little bit stretched across. We're not smiling or frowning. We're just pulling across. And if you put that mmm shape, and then without humming, you're going to say the word poo, like this. Allow your lips to press together. <laughs> Try this. <laughs> Again. <laughs> We're blowing air, putting these lips right here. And now we lightly take our lips to the mouthpiece, centered right on the center. Equal pressure on top and bottom lip. Pull our lips and say. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably get a fuzzy little buzz. Let's try that a couple times, right? It might sound a little lower or higher than mine. Let's try a lower one. Now, if you can buzz faster, put in your lips a little bit tighter, a little bit faster air, you're going to get a higher sound, a higher pitch. Let's try a higher note. Now, putting together the actual instrument, I know you want to get that in your hands. We need to be careful that we don't drop our slide. So you'll notice that your slide, this long piece, there's a small turnable lever here. And if this is turned, you'll notice it can slide. When this is turned again, it should be locked. If you happen to slide it up and then turn it, you'll notice it doesn't go down all the way. So we're not going to do that. So I'd like you to have the lock on currently, make sure that it's spun around past that little piece. And then we're going to find the side that's got these little grooves like a screw, like a bottle cap. And we're going to find the side of the bell that has this rotating piece. And what I want you to do is to insert those two together. You'll notice that it makes a 90 degree angle, kind of like this shape, an L shape, 90 degree angle, where this comes straight up from the bell. And then you're going to just screw that on, medium finger tight, doesn't have to be crazy tight. Your slide should still be locked. You're going to put this on. So you'll notice that the bell is going to be perpendicular to the slide. Well, the bell's going this way, the bell frame, and the actual slide is going this way. Okay, now as far as holding it goes, you'll see this on page two and page three of your book. What you're going to do is make your hand, your left hand, this might look backwards on your screen, I'm sorry if it is. Take your left hand, hold it up if it looks like an L, okay? And you're going to hold your fingers out, curl in these three, okay? You're going to slide in into this rectangle here. These three curled fingers right into the rectangle, your pointer finger, is going to hold against it and your thumb can rest on this little support bar again left hand hi nice to meet you trombone curl in these fingers pointer finger is going to brace here now this can kind of sit on your shoulder kind of looks like a bazooka okay pointer finger up three fingers curled thumb is on this support brace across now you're going to need to make sure you have enough space you don't want to run into things with your trombone correct okay now, the mouthpiece is going to go into the other side, this other hole. There's only other one side. Goes in, gentle quarter turn. If you crank that in there, the Mr. Kniesel gets to get out the Bobcat mouthpiece polar, which is really fun for me, but time consuming and makes it so you can't even put your thing back in your case. You don't want to get these stuck and it'll get stuck. Okay, we're going to loosely put it in, quarter turn. 
If you put it in too loose and you turn your thing upside down, ding, it'll fall on the floor. All right, with this all the way in, you'll notice you don't have any buttons. No buttons. This is the trombone. So instead of buttons, you have slide positions. There are seven slide positions. Let me see if I can scoot back enough to demonstrate those. Check this out. Rotate you a little bit. We got seven slide positions. One is all the way in. The frame of this bar is halfway between my mouthpiece and the bell. That's number two. Number three, my fingertips are going to be almost even with the bell, this rounded curved part. If I'm holding this frame, fingertips are almost to the bell. Three. So one, halfway there, two, all the way there, three. Position four will take a little bit more practice, but it's about the same distance apart as three and two past the bell. Five. Six. Seven's just about as far as you can reach. You might have to turn your shoulder a little bit to reach that far. And if you find eighth position, you'll notice it doesn't exist. Eighth position is when the trombone slide falls off. Oops. And all you need to do is carefully place it back on without squeezing either of these sides. Now there's a video about maintenance. I think I put something in there about trombone, but if I haven't, your case should hopefully have two things in it. You should have some sort of oil and some sort of slide grease. And I will link a video on how to do those soon because we want it to slide smoothly. And without some form of lubrication, it's going to be like, okay? So let's do some of our playing together real quick. As you buzz your lips, you're going to buzz slower, warm air for the lower notes. And if you buzz faster, tighter lips air, you're going to get a higher note. So let's see. I've even got my slide locked. I'm all the way in the beginning, all the way in. Let's see if you can match my tone. I'm going to play you play. Your turn. Two with me. Let's try again. Good warm air. One more time. Breathe and play. Now, some of you might get a different note. You might have gotten this. Let's see if you can get that note. You're going to have to buzz faster, faster air to a little bit tighter lips. Let's try for this higher note. This is called F. One, two, ready. the low one and the high one partially i'm using my ears partially i'm feeling what it's like and then i know that i need to make my air move faster for the higher note slower for the lower note the way you're going to usually find that at beginning as a beginner is just i blew a lot of air and the high note comes out okay later on we're going to learn how to control that and have a lot more refinement with that now i'm going to go over taking apart your instrument for the mouthpiece Quarter turn to unscrew, pull it out, place it in the case. If it is gross at all, you can clean it off with a clean cloth, Kleenex, uh, paper towel. You may even have some sanitizing spray if you're concerned about germs, uh, especially after you're sick, it's a really good idea. And these are pretty safe to wash with water or a little bit of soap. These are fine. Place that back in the case. We're going to go in reverse order. You're uh, going to have a small lever down here. This is your spit valve. It's not all spit. It, most of it's condensation from the air. You're going to hold that open with your finger and blow. You can do that with the mouthpiece still on. Okay? Then we're going to unscrew this. Give it a slight twist. They come apart. And then you're going to put the two pieces back in the case as you found them. Everyone's case is a little bit different, so you might have to wiggle it a little bit to get it exactly how it goes. There's probably going to be some sort of lock to hold the slide in place or the bell in place to keep it from bouncing around on the move. 
Uh, and then of course, secure both locks on both sides and don't let anyone that's not your parent or you or a trusted adult touch your instrument because we really, really don't want anything to break or get lost or damaged. And it's so easy to happen. You might've even heard in that video, I just bumped a little bit against that shelf. If you do that hard enough, you've got a dent, you've got damage. So we wanna be careful, responsible, smart students. Um, explore pages two and three. It's got all the instructions about sitting, breathing, playing, assembly and disassembly. And then if you look ahead to page four and five, you'll see your first notes, your first activities.